good color. Totally. Brings out my eyes. Maybe she'll have your eyes. I hope she does. Let's hope so. I have nice eyes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So we've got food expert Nicole Gonzalez here. Thanks so much for being here. Hey health nuts, welcome back to today's vlog. I'm so excited. Uh, we are finally in like the the official countdown and baby prep for Little Miss Baby Acorn. I'm just in the office and I wanted just to update you guys on what we are doing today. We're basically just doing a bunch of baby prep. We have some fun things on the agenda. I'm gonna get Mr. Matt to help with uh, some pantsicles. He doesn't know. Well, I, I think I've warned him already. He seems up to it. <laughs> I don't even know if he knows what that means. Before we hop in, I just want to say a thank you to Phillips Advent for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. I thought it was so fitting. Um, we actually got a bunch of products from their line and we did a little unboxing and I asked you guys on Instagram stories if you guys have tried their products, uh, what do you recommend? And I got an overwhelming amount of responses. So many of you guys raved about their products. I'll just insert some uh, comments here. And I'm really excited because obviously we're new parents, so the whole baby world is so new to us. And fun fact, Philips Avent is actually Canada's top selling baby brand, which I thought was really cool. And they always have such high quality, innovative products. Matt and I are actually obsessed with Philips in general. We have so many of their products and we've been using them for years. So I know their baby line is gonna be no different and we are going to be just like prepping things in the nursery in the kitchen just getting everything set up because she's going to be here in a couple of weeks which is so crazy to think about and we just have like a bunch of last minute things to prep so today's just like going to be us doing all of that kind of like a day in the life and showing you guys what last minute things we're trying to get done before she gets here cassie are you in your, are you in your little sister's room Okay, so we are currently in the nursery. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. This is the changing table that we have set up here. And basically, we've just been organizing the drawers. We have newborn, and I think these are like the next size app diapers. We also have um, some wipes here, coconut oil, some creams and medicines in that drawer. And then this is the fun drawer here. Uh, let me just get Matt to hold the camera. So we basically have just a mixture of things that we might need. I got these little drawer organizers, which I love. And I have little like bib bandanas here. Um, I have, this is the Soothy Snuggle from Philips Avent. It is so cute. This is a very popular item. I feel like every new mom has this for their baby. The great thing about this is you can actually detach um, the Soothy from the stuffed animal and you can wash them and sanitize them separately which is really awesome and they're so soft also the sky is lightly weighted so it just makes baby feel a little more secured and it just kind of helps stay on them as well plus the actual soothe is just made from a soft flexible silicone look at that cute face so they come in different animals this is the giraffe but there's also a really cute elephant and i think they're coming out with some more animals but we just have him there that's gonna be baby acorns new best friend all right then these ones here are their ultra air pacifiers so they're designed for maximum airflow which keeps baby skin dry and irritation free they come in really cute colors also the great thing is they come with this little sterilizer case so you can just easily sterilize your pacifier in the microwave which i thought was really awesome yeah so we have all the pacifiers there we just got a pacifier clip there then i got her little bows here little socks and mitts they're so tiny um i got some bath toys hats um some teethers this is more bath stuff I also have some nursing pads here and washcloths, which we're gonna wash everything. We want to organize everything first, but we actually have to wash everything today with her clothes. And then in this drawer, we have like all of our, these are just like Thai nightgowns, more bibs, um, we have some burp cloths, swaddles, more blankets and swaddles. Apparently you need a lot. So we're gonna wash all these today. So here's a little sneak peek of her closet. So we have it organized by sizes. We have zero to three at the top and then we have zero or three to six on the bottom and everything needs to be washed. So we're gonna do zero to three today. And then we also have some stuff in our hospital baby bag that needs to be washed. So we're just gonna start taking these out and just washing them on gentle cycle. 
I think they're too small for you. I need one of my size. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't right? That so cute? I could pull that off. Yeah. It's good color. Totally. It brings out my eyes. Maybe she'll have your eyes. I hope she does. Let's hope so. I have nice eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got all of her little outfits. We're just going to take them off the hangers. I got these little non slip hangers um, that are really great. I will link them down below. Do you do like lights and darks for baby clothes? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you for normal clothes? little leopard guy <laughs> so cute I've been told that the zippers are a must when it comes to sleepers so we got lots of those oh no I dropped it <laughs> gotta take the tags off everything get those out of the way I'll leave a little oh grandma got her a little Winnie the Pooh onesie can't go wrong with the Pooh bear it's got a zipper. I'd rock that onesie. It's <laughs> cute. Cashew! Cashew! What do you think of baby's room, huh? She likes something. Smells fishy in here. So we have all of our like whites here and just more color ones here just in case they bleed. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do everything gentle cycle, cold water with a nice gentle um, laundry soap. So we're gonna wash these ones. Matt's grabbing the mitts, the mitts and socks. I think we also need to wash the bows. Everything must be washed. So I have all the little hats, mitts, socks, bows, and nursing pads. Cashew, go! I also have these little mesh laundry bags that I think are gonna be really handy just to put all the little stuff in so it just doesn't get all kind of mixed together and it's easier to put away once we're done. Matt's gonna take all the laundry downstairs. So we already have our hospital bags packed. I actually filmed a whole video on both of these. Um, if you guys haven't watched that yet, it's linked down below. I'm also throwing in an ultra air pacifier. So she has that and we can test that out with her at the hospital in case she needs some extra soothing. Um, but these are ready to go for when baby acorns ready to go. It's our first little trip all packed up. So next on the to-do list, we're going to set up the bottle and sterilization station here. Um, so we're actually just going to like move some stuff. We're going to have to put our composter kind of underneath the sink and then just wipe everything down and add in everything for baby. <laughs> I'm really excited about these. These are the Philips Avent natural bottles. So these are the glass ones. They have regular non-glass as well. And what I like about these is they actually have a brush shaped nipple on them, which just makes it easier for baby to latch. And basically our goal, and I say goal because you really don't know what your baby is going to prefer, is that she will take both, you know, breast and bottle. So that way Matt can feed her and it's just not me all the time feeding her because obviously I'm still going to be working posting videos I'm not taking a year off um, and Matt is taking his pat leave so he is gonna be on bottle duty if she takes it my goal is to use a breast pump pump milk but also breastfeed her as well so in the ideal situation she'll take both um, and these I just really love because they're glass and they have a nice ergonomic shape um, super soft silicone nipples it's, it's so weird to like have to research nipples but honestly they're all so different and I really liked the quality and shape of these ones also they come in different softness and flow rates so you can really pick whatever is best for your baby and their developmental stage we're probably not gonna use these right away but I want to have them handy so that they're ready to go because if we feel like we don't have time to do it now, we're definitely not gonna have time to do it once baby arrives. As well as our pacifiers and soothies, everything is gonna go into the sterilizer. Okay, Matt, you're gonna, I'm gonna let you take over. Wow. 
voila. All right, so laundry's pretty much done, and yeah. now we're gonna do what Matt's been very excited about. <laughs> Patsicles. Yeah. I don't really know what it is. But <laughs> sounds interesting. Um, so we have two types of feminine hygiene products here. Basically, the pads. The pads. Yeah. And I got two different kinds, so I think we're gonna do a mixture, and then basically just are gonna put witch hazel, aloe vera gel, and some essential oils, and then we're gonna pop them in the freezer. Okay, is this like a, do you use it like one a day? Or how, I have how no idea. No? Okay. This is just like a postpartum thing. So like how many do you need to make to be? Um, I think we're gonna ready. make about 10 of them. Okay. And then we can always make more. Okay. So I have two different versions here. Both are like extra absorbency. These ones are huge. So uh, we'll do some of these and they're very soft. And then some of these that just like kind of roll up. And yeah, we're doing witch hazel, aloe vera gel, some essential oils. I have tea tree, frankincense, and lavender. And then we're just gonna pop them in the freezer and then use as needed. We also have this little like bum spatula. This is actually for baby acorn, but we're gonna use it to smear <laughs> the aloe vera gel. So anyways, also sticks on the counter. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, I think, yeah, we'll make about 10 of them. I'm gonna show Matt an example of one and then we're just gonna make it. So I have a huge bottle of witch hazel. I use this all the time for a lot of DIY stuff. So I'm just gonna drizzle some in the center. I'm gonna add like three to four drops of each. I have tea tree frankincense okay I'm almost out of lavender and these are all very skin soothing oils and then I'm just gonna put on the aloe vera and just slather that on and then these ones don't have like an outside packaging so I'm just gonna fold them up and then I'm just gonna pop it into one of these silicone containers and then we'll just pop this in the freezer so we're gonna do a bunch together so we have them ready to go for postpartum care because I need all the cooling, healing uh, support once baby comes out of my body. Just eyeball it. Oh, oh, That's good. Oh. That's good. <laughs> what a lovely like date activity, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll make any top 10 list no? for what to do with a, a date. Fun fact, I used to like see commercials for these all the time on TV and I would ask my older sister, Pam, like what they were for because they would always pour like the blue liquid on them. And she would always say, I don't know. And she did know. She's six years older than me. She lied. I was, this whole time I was like, what's the blue liquid and what are the wings? What do they mean? Steady hand, Matt, steady hand. Into the freezer they go, and I'm actually gonna make some lactation cookies. I just found a recipe online, so I'm gonna make those. I think I have all the ingredients. Um, we have brewer's yeast, flaxseed, and oats, and I think those are like the main ingredients. Really, I'm just craving cookies, uh, so hopefully I save some for when baby gets here, but if they're good, I'll probably make another batch of them so I can freeze them and just have them for um, to help with like breastfeeding and stuff. I've just heard those are good ingredients, but. Um, yeah, we're gonna make some cookies and have a little afternoon snack. So I'm just setting up to make my lactation cookies. I have some brewer's yeast, rolled oats, coconut sugar, an egg, vanilla extract, and then I also ground up some flaxseed and some oat flour. So I was looking up a recipe online. So this is loosely based off that. I'll link the one I'm using down below. Um, but I'm gonna add less sugar and I'm gonna add an egg. I'm just gonna play around with it and hopefully it works out. We also have some chocolate chips that we're gonna add to this. And daddy's gonna take Cashew for a walk. You excited? You look it. <laughs> Come on, let's go for a walk. So 
is brewer's yeast. I've never cooked with this before. I don't even know what it smells like. It kind of smells like sourdough. Yeah, it smells like bread. Mm. So I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of that. It's very powdered. Oh, wow, that was a lot. Okay, some, oh, eh, more milk supply. So I'm just gonna mix this all together and see how my liquid to dry ratio is since I'm kind of going off of a recipe and also just eyeballing this. before they go into the oven. I just decorated them with some more chocolate chips on top. And I have a good feeling about these. I think they're gonna turn out really good. And if they are, I'll definitely make another batch um, so I can freeze some extra. I have a little bit more batter, so I'll bake these guys first and then I'll put the second batch in. So it's a little bit later now. I had a call, but update on the cookies. They're really good, except like the texture and everything is good, but they are a little bit bitter. I don't know if it's the brewer's yeast. I have a feeling it is, because it has like a bit of a sour bitterness to it. So I'm either gonna add less of that um, or just add like maybe some maple syrup to it, um, or maybe that's just like how they got it taste, you know? Look, it's inside. Chocolate chips definitely help. Mm. It's now almost five o'clock. I can't believe it already looks like it's seven. It's getting so dark so early. Matt went to CrossFit. He's working on his dad bod. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner, but I'm just gonna eat some cookies. Is it like too early to start eating lactation cookies before the baby comes? I don't know. Yeah, I definitely need to tweak them a little bit so you don't taste the brewer's yeast as much. So this is the last load of baby clothes that just came out of the dryer. I'm just gonna fold this all up and put it into baby Acorn's room. And then we're basically done washing everything. Morning in a day video. It has been a minute since I have gotten one of these videos up for a couple different reasons. So I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoy just kind of coming along and just seeing what we're doing to prep for a baby. Honestly, I can't believe she's gonna be here in a couple of weeks. She might be here by the time this video goes live. I don't know, <laughs> but it's been really fun just prepping for her, getting excited, getting ready for just like a crazy new life. I just feel like life will never be the same. Even when we got Cashew, I can't even remember what it was like to have to not have a dog. And I'm sure it's even crazier with like an actual human being that's like that you created just is mind blowing to me. Hopefully I don't have chocolate on my face, um, but I just wanted to say a huge thank you again to Philips Avent for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have a link to shop their line down below in the info box, check it out. Like I said, they just have some really high quality, innovative products and I know their baby line is gonna be no different. It seems like you guys all recommend them on Instagram and I'm really excited to test them out. I feel like we basically have everything we need now from our baby shower, things that were gifted, things that we bought. Um, so I'm feeling pretty prepared for her to come and I'm just excited. So I'm basically just gonna like sit back these last couple of weeks and wait for her to come and make her arrival. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for just all the baby and parenthood support you guys have given us. Honestly, I was so scared when I first announced that we were expecting because I was just scared of like mom shit and all the stuff that I don't know that you hear about um, but you guys have been so supportive so just wanted to say thank you and 
I'm just so excited to go on this new journey with you guys and share it here on the channel and on Instagram and online. And it's just been a lot of fun and it's going to be a crazy time. So wish us luck. And if there's anything else you think that we should prep, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.